this is very much the first harvest, like first real harvest of the year. And it's pretty awesome. Just gonna get these collards. I'm feeling like a salad today and I like adding collard greens. Um, I like adding collard greens in my salad because it's pretty tasty. unfamiliar with nasturtiums, both the leaves and the flowers and the seeds are edible. I planted a lot of nasturtiums because I was going to use them basically as like sacrificial plants just because I wanted the pests to bother them rather than my major crops, but oh, it's so tasty. It's tasty. They're beautiful. Like, here, let me show you. Isn't that pretty? So I'm just gonna grab some of these for a tasty afternoon snack. Um, I think I'll grab some basil from over here too. Oh, sorry, y'all. Caprese salad sounds good. Update on Big Daddy Sunflower. Still big. Still a sunflower. Alright, let's grab some of these peppers. Seeds. Probably should use my scissors for this. I foresee this being one of many pepper hauls, which makes me super excited because I've definitely struggled with peppers in the past. Supposed to have the boys helping me, but they decided they didn't want to. It's okay, I guess. So I'm back. There's another one back there, but I think I'll grab it from. No, I'll grab it now. my beans so over here it was weird like my beans were doing so well for so long and then they just decided to not I think I just need to give them some time to you know fruit again I'm not worried oh here's two Royal Burgundy beans. I think that's good for the beans. It's got this daisy. <laughs> we'll just look at this. Like, uh, vining crops are just so awesome. They, they just know. They just know to grab on the nearest thing that will support them. see more nasturtiums I went a little nasturtium crazy I'll be honest but can you really go nasturtium crazy I don't think so let's see over here is there anything to grab got this holy basil I'm trying to get it to come back to life I think it's happy here 
which I don't know, I may regret putting it right here because I know that it can bush out like crazy. But we'll see. More nasturtium, my dill in the background. Uh, trying to see, I'm hoping that'll live. It looks happier than it had before. More nasturtium. Um, if you've seen any of my like videos on Instagram, you'll notice that my zucchini is missing. Um, it just was not doing well, so my mom and I actually, we pulled it out yesterday. I don't know if I'm going to re-sow zucchini or if I'm going to plant something else there because I have lemon cucumber that I really want to try. So I might put that there, I'm not sure. But uh, let me show you something that I found yesterday. I'm getting my first ground cherry. I was really worried about this because it didn't look like it was doing much, um, but because like it stayed maybe like this big uh, for a while, but it's just, I don't know if it was the rain or I don't know if it just needed a little bit of time, but. It's looking how well it's covering ants right now, but so am I. Um, but yeah, and maybe it just needed a little bit of time because it's much happier now. I'm so excited. Our blueberry bush. You know, we're just... Next year. Next year, blueberries. Next year. I think I'll grab some of these. Yeah, I'll grab some of these blooms. These will look nice in the kitchen. I think it's good. Mm, should we do one more? Yeah, we'll do one more. There we go. Definitely going to grab some of these zinnias. I clipped some of them, or at least from over here. I clipped some of them yesterday, um, and I actually gave them to my neighbor, but I'm gonna go ahead and clip some more of these that way more blooms will be encouraged. <sighs> Quite a few cayenne peppers on here, but I am going to wait. Like, this really long one right here. I'm going to wait for this one to ripen a little bit more before I take it off. And down here, my Romas. <sighs> you know, one day, if you ever feel like ripening, just let me know. That'd be great. I love this part of the garden. <sighs> Definitely coming to get these. for the zinnias. I'm gonna grab some of this pineapple sage too because I'm going to make some tea. I'm gonna make like an iced tea. Yeah, I think I'm gonna fight through this zinnia forest and get some arugula too. Arugula is by far one of my favorite leafy greens. And it's growing so well over here because it's shaded by the zinnias, the pineapple sage, the corn, and all of these tomatoes. So you totally can grow leafy greens in the summer. All these tomatoes. 
just, you know, whenever you feel like ripening, I'll be very happy because I would love to eat you. Yellow Pear Saga 2020. Let's see how the chickens are doing. Ooh, Chicoletta. Maybe let's not play in that dirty water. That'd be great, thanks. Hey, ladies. Snow, you can't come in here. See anybody lay yet? All right, nobody's laid yet. Check out these new doors. Ew. When I say I did that, I did that. It's the garden from the coop. never show the deck. Um, I always kind of, I don't forget that it's here, but I kind of forget it's here. But on the deck, I have um, just a couple different pots. Um, I have my lemon verbena, which this will be my first time growing verbena, so I'm actually really excited. Um, I have a lemon balm, I have a lantana, a mint, a lemongrass barrel down here, um, another sage, is that a curled leaf or a bug? That's a curled leaf. Um, a sage, my lemon tree, um, and then on the other side I have my chamomile. And I think I'm going to grab some of my lemon balm for that iced tea that I'm going to make later. I want to I want to grab some verbena too, but like I said, this is my first time growing verbena. It smells amazing. Um, I don't know. Can I use verbena in tea, like iced tea? Yeah. For anyone who's ever grown verbena or has used verbena, like, give me some some give me some suggestions in the comments as to how to use this. I know it has a really pretty flower, but if the leaves are edible, I might as well eat them, right? Let's see what we got today. Start over here. Got some collards, some nasturtium, oh, some echinacea. Got that lemon balm. More collards, a pepper, nasturtium. Pepper, pepper, my twine. Some basil. Try to move the flowers so they don't get too beat up. Speaking of which, let me grab these zinnias. Can't wait to get these in a jar. Gerber daisy. Damn, I got a lot of flowers. Um, some more cone flowers and pineapple sage. Some lemon balm. A couple of royal burgundy garden beans. Basil, a pepper. Some nasturtium. That's it. Bad, right? I don't think so. Cheers.